What's up guys, it's Andrew, some guy with tools. Today we've got the next dimension in power. You've already seen it when we were up in Baltimore, me and everybody else, but now we've got it in hand in the shop. DeWalt sent this over. Let's open it up, take a look. Awesome demo, uh, promo box, press box. Reminder, 50% more power, 25% smaller battery pack, and it's their lightest and most powerful battery yet. This is the stacked pouch cell technology and inside the press kit we've got the hammer drill dcd 791 we've got the six and a half inch circular saw the dcs 565 12 and 20 volt charger 20 volt 2 amp hour battery 20 volt 1.7 amp hour power stack stacked cell battery a one inch auger spade bit and a three quarter inch auger bit what they want us to do, we're gonna put these side by side. Same tool, same bits, different batteries. And let's see the speed increase on a compact battery on these tools. You and I both know, normally on a circular saw, you're not running a compact battery. Me personally, I'm grabbing a four amp hour. So what they're trying to show us is that with this new power stack, with the available increased power output, you're able to accomplish the same task that would normally take a larger four amp hour or plus b battery with a now smaller and more compact 1.7 amp hour battery. That's the whole gist of it. That's where DeWalt's starting and I can't wait to see where else they take it. To the tests. Okay, first up we're gonna use the standard two amp hour 20 volt battery. Both, all these tests are gonna be with the DCD 791. Uh, I'm running the 20 amp hour or 20 volt battery First, with the brand new, just out of the box, three quarter inch ship auger. So we're gonna do a hole, we're gonna try on high first, and then we'll do the same thing with the power stack battery. Ready, set, go. go. Let's try with something a little bigger. I wanna see them work. Let's get a four by six. Okay, same thing again. Ship auger bit, three quarter inch. On drill, we're gonna do it in high with the 20 volt, two amp hour battery. I forgot to show you, but all the batteries are full. Just came off the chargers. All right, on high, 20 amp hour, 20 volt battery. Ready, set, go. That's all she wrote. Let's try it on all low. Right. A little bit further, but not quite. Ready, set, go. Much quicker. Let's try with the spade bit. All right. Brand new, fresh out of the package spade bit. 20 volt battery, 2 amp hour. Let's try it on high. The reason I'm trying these on high, I know normally everybody, we're gonna, we're gonna put it on low. We're gonna put it on speed one, do it under control. But what I'm trying to see is where does the standard 2 amp hour battery fall out and the power stack can continue on. So that's my reasoning for putting it back into high. So let's try 2 amp hour battery, one inch spade bit, four by four in high. Ready, set, go. No problem at all. Okay, cut out one time. You know, if there's any one thing that's getting hot through these tests, it's the drill. The power stack's still cool to the touch. The two amp hour, it's a little bit warm. It's warmer than the power stack, but not warm, not hot yet. So let's keep going. I got something else. This wasn't something they included in their kit, but it's something I wanna try. This is the brand new DCF 921. This is their half inch compact wrench they just came out with. 20 volt brushless um, atomic compact series. So what we're gonna do, I got the four by six here, some five inch long half inch lags. I put this guy on timber framing mode with the two amp hour battery. Let's see what it can do with the lag. Should be no problem. Let's see if it bogs down at all. Ready, set. 
Ready, set, go. Or just immediately split the wood. Alright, let's get a different 4 by Different 4 by same thing. 2 amp hour, 20 volt battery, DCF 921, uh, half inch compact impact wrench, half inch by 5 eighths lag, into a 4x6, we're on timber framing mode, should be no problem, I want to hear if it bogs at all. This is with the 2 amp hour, 20 volt battery. Ready, set, go. I don't know if we're going to be able to tell on the video, obviously I got to wait till I'm editing it, but in person, it felt like the impact wrench didn't struggle as much, like it had more juice to give using this power stack battery, you know, super technical stuff. Let's try something else. We're going to go with the brand new DCF 850, this is their, their brand new uh, super teeny tiny atomic series impact driver. Uh, still the same 20 volt 2 amp hour battery. This time what we're going to do is drive an 8 inch structural screw through the 4x4 into the 4x6. We're on speed 3. We're going to do the 2 amp hour first. Ready, set, go. Okay. Again, I don't know the times until I edit the video together, but in person, the super technical analysis of this, it definitely feels faster. It feels easier on the impact with this power stack battery. And on top of that, look how tiny this thing is, man. It's narrower than the tool. That's wild. You put this two amp hour back on, look how much it sticks out compared to that. It's crazy crazy all right guys so there it is that's the dewalt 20 volt 2 amp hour against the dewalt 20 volt 1.7 amp hour power stack again look how much smaller narrower yeah a little bit taller but the footprint on this is so much better for the record it's barely warm this one's almost hurting my hand Hope y'all guys got some some good information out of that. We'll edit it together and see what they look like side by side. And uh, yeah, if you ask me, this is the way to go. I can't wait to see what else they're going to come out with, what other sizes. Uh, hopefully they implement this into some bigger stuff as well. Stay tuned.